Yes, yes. Hello. Good evening. Welcome to the press conference for Angebur. Please raise your hand and state your name and organisation when asking a question. We will start with a quick question. On, give us uh, uh, some, your thoughts on your performance today. Um, yeah, obviously a good match for me uh, after a long wait. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that I got the win. I'm happy that I got to play today. And uh, I'm just going to keep continue playing better and better, hopefully. Keep getting better and better. You love uh, grass so much. Uh, and now, uh, are you starting to think uh, about the draw, about where you are now, about the next matches? Um, yeah, I mean, I love grass, I love playing here. Uh, I don't look at the draw much, but I know who's on my side, obviously. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep focusing more on myself, more doing what I love to do and uh, imposing my game. Uh, um, I'm just um, loving playing here and uh, I hope my game will keep improving for the next matches. And also, a little follow-up. Uh, did you speak with Serena after yesterday's match? Uh, and uh, of course, uh, you are in contact. Uh, did you happen to speak with her? Uh, we are we are not that close yet, <laughs> but uh, obviously tough match. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm not sure. I, we didn't we didn't speak really. Any further English question? Hi. Hi. Okay. Yes. I'm Chibuchida from Smash Magazine. So uh, congratulations congratulations Thank on you. today's match and also being number two in the world. So. Um, if you look back on uh, your career, I think uh, beginning of the, your career, you have been struggling a little bit because of this, you know, circumstances, and uh, and you have been supported by a uh, player, a Grand Slam grant from ITF, and uh, maybe you got married and you got support from your husband. So if you pick up uh, like one or two, like a turning point of, of your career, or like a, the most important decision, what it would have been. Um, honestly, I don't like to pick just one because I feel like there is so many things that help me uh, be the person that I am today and uh, where I am today. Um, a lot of uh, I took a lot of uh, great decisions. Obviously, uh, the grant from ITF really helped me a lot uh, to be in a top hundred and and to get good things started for me. Um, I am slow and sometimes I start things slow. Uh, my game is um, is not as the same game as other players, so uh, that's why it was more difficult for me to adapt. Uh, also, uh, kind of bringing my husband to be my fitness coach uh, did help me a lot for my, for my career. But uh, I think uh, maybe back in 2019, when um, just everything changed in my head, that I was like, um, I was like really fed up with the situation being in maybe 80, 60, and I knew that my place was in in top 10, and I was like, okay, enough is enough. Now it, it's time to really organize my work and really uh, believe more in myself. And that's how, you know, the quarterfinal of Australian Open happened in 2020 and everything all started to happen, uh, winning more titles, improving my my game and lucky enough to have a great team beside me, a uh, Tunisian team, that it's very easy for me to communicate with them and easy for them to understand me, my culture and everything. Any further questions? Hi, Alex. Great today. Uh, Joseph Regal, Tennis Head. Oh, I guess... You know, you mentioned about rankings and going up the rankings in your world number two. And, um, but obviously, you know, it's a shame that Wimbledon doesn't have ranking points this year. But is, is there a part of that that maybe takes the pressure off? Because, you know, there's uh, not, not the pressure off, but some of the pressure because there's, there's no rankings pressure on you to like sort of perform well. Um, obviously, you want to perform well, it's Wimbledon, but. Could yeah, I mean, for me, Grand Slam is a Grand Slam, you know, it's just, uh, it's always stressful to play uh, big tournaments. Um, it suits me well for the race. I'm glad that I'm staying second. Uh, the ranking, not really, you know, I, I couldn't defend my points from last year. But it is what it is. I don't like to focus on the negative things. Um, and like I said, if I win this one, I'll be the only player to win a Grand Slam without points. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.